Hey guys, uh, right off the bat, I want to apologize. Uh, it is extremely, extremely windy here today. Uh, so I apologize if the audio is kind of fades in and out. I'll try to talk loudly um, you know, throughout the video and try to keep the video somewhat short. Uh, for all my U.S. viewers, I want to wish you a happy 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July, 2009. Uh, I wanted to uh, originally make a video on fireworks, on uh, local fireworks stands and things like that because it is 4th of July and that's obviously the day to do fireworks and see fireworks. Um, but because of my schedule and what I have to do today, uh, I just don't have time for it. Luckily here in Pennsylvania, I have a Phantom Fireworks outlet store that's somewhere or somewhat nearby. So eventually I could still do that uh, video. Um, the Phantom Fireworks outlet is open uh, all year round. So I don't have to do that at 4th of July. I'm not gonna miss it, it'll still be there. Uh, as well as another local store that I wanna get to for a video that is uh, privately owned and is also fireworks all year round. Um, but anyway, today as you can see here, I'm doing a garden update video. Uh, a lot of my stuff just kind of got bigger. Uh, between now and my last garden update video uh, here in North Northeast Pennsylvania, we've had a lot of rain. I mean, a lot of rain. And uh, it actually killed off a couple of my plants. As I come into the garden, right away I'll show you what died. Uh, I lost two pepper plants, so you can see the void there. Uh, over here was, I believe, um, banana peppers or something close to that uh, and then of course my hol my little jalapeno plant um, died off it's just because the uh, the ground got way too wet um, also over here if you notice I have a void my two uh, cherry tomato actually this was a I believe this is a Goliath tomatoes that died um, again just got way too the, the ground got way too uh, wet for it it just couldn't survive uh, and then the one on the corner there I believe was patio cherry tomatoes and they died as well However, you can see the two cherry tomato plants over here, as well as uh, this whole row on the back, is actually doing quite well, growing pretty tall. This tallest one, if I lean this straight up and down, it's about four feet tall. I mean, it's almost eye level, um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm six foot tall, but uh, I would say it's over four feet, almost five feet by now, but it's kind of leaning over, so it's deceptive, uh, the size of that. But most of these are the Sweet 100. Uh, cherry tomatoes. So, you know, obviously they're a pretty hardy uh, strain. They've uh, lasted through all that wet weather, as well as the uh, the storms we've had. Um, as far as my other pepper plants, they're doing okay. Not too bad. Uh, a lot of my plants, especially my, um, as you can see here, the uh, bell pepper plants, a lot of uh, bug, um, you know, the bugs have been eating it. Uh, I haven't specifically seen too many bugs in here. The Japanese beetles, uh, the problem I was having last year, don't really see them too much. Uh, however, I, I see a lot of slugs, and uh, I was talking to uh, you know a couple neighbors, and of course my boss. Uh, she does a, a very beautiful garden, and uh, she was telling me, uh, you know, warning me about the slugs this year. Uh, but I, unfortunately, I didn't get the stuff in the ground before you know the season started. I believe a lot of this, uh, a lot of the the stuff that was eaten on these plants were from the gypsy moths. Um, in my area, they were sprayed, but I had planned all my stuff before the um, they did the spraying for them. So I probably should have waited until after. So I think a lot of the damage is from them, the uh, gypsy moths. Uh, over here, you can see my stevia. Uh, not doing too bad at all. Again, a little bit of uh, damage there from the bugs, but not too bad. Um, my herbs are doing awesome. Uh, over here, I actually use a tomato. It got so big, I used a tomato cage uh, for this. This is my uh, pineapple sage. And that's getting very tall and very, very healthy. Um, just fantastic. Again, you know, you rub these leaves, they have a very strong pineapple smell. Just really, really cool. Wish you guys could smell that. Uh, I'll probably experiment with that uh, in some different food, and eventually, if I whatever I don't use in, in sauces and, and things like that, um, I'll what I'll do is I'll dry it. And I've heard you can mix that in with other tea leaves to make uh, you know a nice flavor in your tea. Um, over here, this is from uh, courtesy of my boss Hana. This is a very healthy uh, mint mint plant. And this is pretty cool. She goes to a, a local nursery um, every year. And she's a good, um, you know, uh, friendship and reputation with this uh, local owner of the store. And, um, and she actually asked for mint last year. And the guy had remembered uh, this year that we were, I was looking for mint last year. So he, uh, he actually got me some. Thought that was really cool. Uh, very good customer service, obviously. And just uh, fantastic. And this is doing very well, very healthy. Over here I have the lemon verbena, which is also doing very healthy. You can see there it's getting nice and big. And that also has a nice strong lemon, uh, you know, scent and flavor to it. Um, let's see, all my strawberries, you can see I got kind of a couple clusters here. This one happened to be, this red one happened to be eaten up a little bit. You can see it's hollow. <laughs> so that won't be going to me, but these other ones, you know, if they grow up to be, uh, 
you know, full size and mature, I'll probably eat them. Uh, I actually have one right here that I'm going to pick after the video. This one's uh, pretty much ready to go. I could probably give it another day or two to get fully ripe, but again, the longer it stays out here, the more of a chance that the, uh, the bugs and birds are going to get to it. So I'll probably pick that. As far as the cherry tomatoes, uh, if you look in here, you can see you know, a couple here and there. Not, uh, not any huge ones. Actually, over here, I have a couple Roma grape tomatoes, which are coming along. But of course, you know, it's a little bit early for the, uh, the tomatoes. So as time goes on, I'll start seeing more and more of those. So uh, actually, if I turn around and go to the back side here of my garden, you will see my pole beans. And actually, the pole beans, it's kind of like a, a vine. It's just holding on to the, uh, the fence there. If I go real slow, you can see how that grips onto the fence and just, just grows up right like a vine. And it's actually climbing the fence here. Um, it's actually uh, towards the outside, which is not good in the sense that as I get beans and they start hanging here, well, it's on the outside of the fencing, so that, that's easy pickings for the, uh, the deer and all the other animals. So I might have to uh, try to kind of unweave that. Originally, I wanted to, to kind of cling onto this here, this white uh, kind of lattice. Um, you know, so that's that. Uh, I want to thank uh, also my boss. Let me come around the back here. My excellent boss, Hana, who uh, treats me very well. She gave me all this uh, pea stone, this rock. As you can see here, I put in the garden for the, uh, you know, the whole flooring of the garden, which is very cool. Uh, just makes it look really nice. It's, uh, originally, I was going to do some kind of kind of walkway at a rock, but this is perfect. Absolutely perfect, so I love that. Uh, let me actually run up the hill here. I want to show you my cherry tree. And I'm actually about to... Uh, to pick the cherries on here, so let me run up the hill and show you this. Now, I don't know if you remember, but last year my cherry tree, it's a dwarf cherry tree, um, so it only grows about, about 10 or 15 feet. But last year I had about four or five cherries and I just ate them right off the tree. But this year, as you can hopefully see there, I have tons more. I have about probably three or four dozen cherries here. And actually, I opened up the, uh, the side of the fence here, so let me get in there nice and close for you. And you can see all these cherries. So very cool. A lot of these are ripe, ready to go. Um, now let's try one right off the tree right now. This one's about ready to go. Let me pop that right off the tree. And uh, let's give it a taste. Mmm. It's actually very sweet. I thought that'd be um, a lot more tart than because last year they were pretty uh, sour. But um, oh, very good. And don't forget, they do have a pit. See here is a little pit. And I'll just drop that right in the ground. Maybe we'll grow another tree. That'd be cool. So yeah, these taste great. Um, what I'll do is, uh, after I cut film here, I will actually I'll pick all the cherries, all the red ones that are ripe. And uh, what I'll do is I'll save them. And uh, ironically, cherries at the grocery store are on sale this week. So I'll buy a bag of regular cherries, and I'll mix them together. And, uh, you know, I'll take all the pits out and everything, and I'll make some, uh, some pie filling, you know, so I can make a cherry pie. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually really, really excited this year. I've got tons and tons of cherries here. So, again, not, uh, not substantial food to live off of, but certainly a cool novelty and a, a fun hobby. You know, my, my garden is not, uh, not very large at all, as you guys can see. But, again, it's, for me, it's, it's a hobby, and it's fun, and like I said, you know, eventually I'll have a a homemade cherry pie. I'll make the uh, crust from scratch and everything and you know, it's just the enjoyment to uh, to know that I'm eating something that I, I grew. So pretty cool. Yeah, cherries came out very good. So uh, I guess that's it. That's my garden update. Again, all my U.S. viewers and subscribers, happy 4th of July. Hope you have a good one. A lot of, uh, a lot of good weather actually right up here. Like I said, besides the wind, the sun is out and shining. Uh, you know, so you can't beat it. So hopefully you guys, uh, all your barbecues and family get-togethers are uh, very enjoyable. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Always appreciate it. And I hope you have a good day. Take care.